Pro Rider Ride was good. So I, I saw I got a lot of positive feedback and I got some followers on Instagram and whatnot about my organization video. I did a, sheesh, I don't know, a few months back, maybe eight months ago. So I figured, let me do a follow up because, you know, at the end of the day, it's all about sharing. There's enough for everybody. So here's a quick video of more organization. If you like it, let me know. Hit me up in the comments. Is there something you want to know? Let me know. I mean, I'm still new in the game. I'm only three years in, but I do travel a lot. So I'm currently in North Carolina, making this North Carolina money and, you know, doing what I got to do. And I got to say, definitely the experience came from getting a mentorship. So if you can get a mentorship, I highly recommend it. If you can get an apprenticeship, I highly recommend it. So if you get an apprenticeship in a wax shop, you're not going to learn much. You're going to stay at that level. But if you're able to get an apprenticeship in, in an elite shop where you see guest artists from all over the world come, you're going to pick up all types of tricks, all types of, uh, yeah, I'm just saying tricks and life hacks that are going to save you headache and time. And you're just going to gain that much of experience from even, uh, I'll tell you, I'll throw one out right there right now. There's an artist from Scotland that came to the shop I used to manage and a motherfucker would, instead of paper towels, he used wipes. Baby wipes. And I was like, oh shit, let me try it. So I went through my little baby wipe phase and try to see if I liked it or not. Um, I don't do it much anymore. But like if you're ever shit out of luck and you can't get good paper towels, instead of getting cheap paper towels, because cheap paper towels are the worst, it's going to get on the skin, it's going to get on your machine, it's terrible, it's not even worth trying. If you're going to use some budget shit, just get a, a, some wipes and yo, tattoo with the wipes. So that's what I'm talking about. So I'm going to do this a little bit more. If you like it, if you don't like it, let me know what's, what's good. And yo, it's all about sharing, all right? So keep hustling. Keep doing what you got to do. Let me know your thoughts on this video. And yeah, we can go more from there. We can expand, all right? Let's, let's build a network. Let's, let's, get it. let's get this money. Peace. All right, all right. So what are you going to keep in, in these cases that you got? You know what I mean? Make sure you check out my previous video on tattoo organization. But this is what I keep in mind. All right. So this is like one of the main components that comes with it. You know, I keep my machine and my bootleg Pelican case that cost me $14. I keep some small inks. And more importantly, I keep my business cards. I keep stickers. I got to You got to carry your own promotion. If you ain't promoting yourself, you're wrong. If you ain't got a business card, then how are people supposed to remember you? Remember that. Promote yourself. If you don't want to shell the money out for the ridge, you can get this joint right here at Walmart, $80. $80, you get these three com uh, compartments, and you get yourself organized. So if your goal is to go to your clients because your clients can't come to you, you're not in the shop, whatever it may be, get organized. It is key. Know what you have. And yeah, 80 bucks to get you that joint. And here's my joint right here. So I got that one for my daughter, but here's daddy's. So I talked about, about transparency. my other so video I love this about organizing right more. I'm a big fan uh, this is where I keep all my needles. You don't need every needle. Your needles. But when you, when you first start, you might need a you're good not going to carry every but needle. But in the beginning, you might have to carry it. And I can see what I need to reorder. Easy so way to see what you got. You don't want them in a box, so you don't know what you got. This is my current setup when I'm going to go somewhere that's not a shop. So I got everything here. I got my armrest. I got my silver tray, the wheels. It breaks down. You can take it with you. And, you know, my normal setup, my ridge setup that has everything. So I'm good to go. So if you got something bigger than a Corolla S, then you Gucci. Here's a little tip. Get yourself a pencil case holders. I picked these up at Target. I think they're like $2. Separate them by colors, in and out, out of your case. No brainer. Stupid easy. Prevent spills. You're welcome. I picked these joints up on Amazon. I think they're like three to four dollars. These were lunch bags, so just transparent, so that you can see what you're looking for, and you ain't gotta open everything up. They ran out of the hard cases, but look, here's a perfect example. I had a bottle of Dynamic that exploded, and it all stayed inside this case. So that's why I'm showing y'all. Look at the mess. How messy this joint is. Imagine how messy your whole kit would have been messed up if I didn't have it in that packet. So yeah. So this is the way to go. Trust me, it happens to everybody. Lastly, on the crate, I carry my gloves. I got my water. I got my uh, Matticide in the bottle. Candy, sugar, because people need it. Some sanitizing wipes. My alcohol, 90% to spray shit down. 
Which hazel to put in the water? My printing machine, camera, got to take good pictures, can't afford the newest phone every five days, you know what I mean? Okay, so this joint right here literally cost me $14 at Harbor Freight. You could buy the original joint. A Pelican is going to cost you an arm and a grip. This is super important. Keep your shit organized. Presentation. This is how you carry it. Keep it safe. You need something portable so when you leave the shop, you take your machines with you. Don't ever get comfortable leaving your machines at a shop. If they break into the shop or somebody steal your shit, you're going to be asked out, and that's how you make money. So keep your shit safe, secure, and you never leave it in the shop. Okay, so in the big case, this is what I keep in here, right? This is the big joint, the one with the wheels. Got my hive caps, second skin, markers, because you need markers to draw. I got two sets of markers. I got regular Sharpies, and I also have in the blue one, the tattoo marker, so you got to be organized. Um, you can see there I got scissors section, saran wrap, which of course we need clippers because sometimes you got some hairy mother flippers that shaving ain't even an option. You got to just shave them down. And like I was talking earlier, look, the pencil cases, it's the way to go. Look how quick I can take them out and set up. I show up to the shop. I just set up one, two, three, bang, I'm done. Um, second skin, what else we got here? Yeah, more inks, more inks, easy spray to remove spare cables even though right now i'm using battery everything no more cables for me but yeah it's all about organizing everything i need is in here um tapes uh headlamps you know i got even though i got big lamps i got regular headlamps just in case sensi sensi wrap uh masks soaps you name it ink caps tongue depressors razors the works it's a shopping wheels basically what it means to be a traveling tattoo artist is that you should have everything you need. I got my printer, I got my bed, I even bring my own trash can, which is those little details that go a long way, and you'd be surprised how much it impresses certain clients. And bring your own paper towels, bring bounty paper towels, don't use none of that cheap shit. And then make sure that you can roll with everything. Here's the back of my Corolla, the trunk, you see it all breaks down, got my lights, everything you just saw fits perfectly neat like Tetris. Why in my trunk? I'm good to go. Let's make this money. Thank you for watching the video. If you like what you saw, hit subscribe. Uh, you can follow me on the gram. I'm definitely be whoring myself on the gram. I probably shouldn't use that word because you get censored. But anyway, yeah, I'll be on the gram. You'll see everything I do on the gram. I don't, I'm always on the gram because we got to promote ourselves. But if you like what you see, or you got any questions, hit me up on the gram, like, hey, Rafa, whatever it may be. I'm not a stingy dude, and I feel like I said there's plenty for everybody out there. We should be helping each other. Uh, the hardest thing is going to be for you, if you're trying to get this tattoo game going on, is to get an apprenticeship, which is definitely the way I recommend.